Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. Clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast Discussion for November 1st to the 13th. November 1st to the 5th. The flow will consist of this. Let me go back here. We'll have a strong... What is going on? Strong ridge here over the Northeast Pacific. And this trough will gradually slide eastward. And we'll have a, strong, uh, a trough across East Central North America. And we'll have a ridge here across the Caribbean into the Western Atlantic. Now, at the start of this period, we're going to go here to Friday. You can see we have this, keeps jumping around. I have this low will be exiting the Northeast. And there'll be rain and snow occurring across uh, probably northern New England and parts of maybe the far inland, uh, far inland um, mid Atlantic region near the lakes. And we'll have rain across the south. This is the GFS. We'll look at the European. Kind of shows generally the same thing. We'll have snow across here, rain and storms continue across this area. After that, we'll have a front. Part of this system will settle across Florida and will bring rain. You can see here, mostly light rain across portions of Florida. Okay, now we're going to look at the period for November 4th to the 8th. And we'll still have this strong ridge over... Um, the Northeast Pacific trough here across the West. But first I want to talk about what's going on in the atmosphere. We're looking here at the AO and the AO is currently negative and is predict predicted to remain negative for the next two weeks. And the current AO is uh, reflective of mostly positive height anomalies across the, the Arctic, which we'll look across here. Positive height anomalies. This is really bad. It's not really work. Look at this. Okay. And we have mixed height anomalies across the mid latitudes. The AO is also negative with positive height anomalies spreading across Greenland and Iceland. Across this region here. This is the European ensemble that shows it good. Now, also, what, what's noted is snow cover is above normal across Eurasia and North America. Based on the observational analysis, this also favors high pressure across the Arctic with downstream troughing and cold temperatures across North America. So this would be just the beginning of it. We have a trough here settling across this area here. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures for this region. And I'm forecasting anomalies about four degrees above normal. We have below normal temperatures here. And with anomalies of four to eight degrees below normal or forecast. For precipitation, call for below normal precipitation here and for this region. And the probability of occurrence is 35%. And then we'll have above normal precipitation occurring here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. Now we're going to look at the period for November 9th to the 13th. Hopefully this will be better. Uh, the AO is negative with weak positive height anomalies across Greenland. You can see right there. Use Greenland. They're not that strong. And... The AO will likely remain close to neutral this period. The overall pattern favors consistent positive height anomalies across North America. With the trough downstream over East North America. That's what we have here. So we're going to go to the 13th. You can see here's our trough. Here's our ridge. Ridge here. Positive height anomalies across Arctic. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting, and I don't have the map, hold on. Is this the right map? Okay. 
all right, overall, little overall change in the areas of of um, below normal temperatures, but the anomalies might be a little different. I'm forecasting above normal temperatures here, anomalies are four to eight degrees above normal, and then here we'll have below normal temperatures with anomalies of at least four to eight degrees below normal. Some of the models I'm showing anomalies near 12 degrees below normal, but I'm going to be a little conservative. And and for precipitation, column four, below normal precipitation here and here. And the probability of occurrence is 45% here, 35% here and here. And we have above normal precipitation current across the the um, central and eastern Gulf Coast states and the southeast probability of occurrence is 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for November 1st at 13th. Thanks for coming to Jamungi's World of Weather and have a good day.